baby, we were born to. Shalom, my friends. This is Max Joseph, and I am here because I just saw Blinded by the Light. Brought to you by the writer, director, producer, Grinder Chada, who we know from the classic Bend It Like Beckham, this movie is set to the music and lyrics of the boss, Bruce Springsteen's music. The film tells a story of Javid, played by Vivek Kalra, a British teen of Pakistani descent growing up in the town of Luton, England in 1987. So amidst all the racial and economic turmoil of the times, he writes poetry as a means to escape the intolerance of his hometown and the inflexibility of his traditional father. But when a classmate introduces him to the music of Bruce Springsteen, Javid finds parallels to his working class life in the boss's words. While Javid discovers an outlet for his own pent-up dreams, he also begins to find the courage to express himself in his own unique voice. My friends, if you were to look up best feel-good films of 2019, this movie should be the picture you see. Blinded by the Light is the most me movie of the year. Besides Avengers Endgame, of course. Let me explain what that means. Growing up, my family loved watching movies where at the end, you'd raise your fists up in the air and scream, never give up, never give up, hoo, hoo, hoo. Go with it. So, so think uh, D2, The Mighty Ducks, Remember the Titans, Cool Runnings, those, those kinds of movies. I, I know it's a strange list, but not only are they in my top 10 films of all time, they mean a lot to me and to my family. And whether you like them or not, we all have those movies that are just important for us. I grew up with them, and they just have that magic to me. Blinded by the Light is the first movie I felt like raising my fist up for at the end in nearly a decade. So here are my bullet points for Blinded by the Light. Bullet point number one. Vivek Kalra was incredible. And this was his film debut. I can't even find a Wikipedia for this dude. He was perfect. I also think Chada has a way of discovering actors because she was also the one who gave a little actor named Kira Knightley her breakthrough role in a little film called Bend It Like Beckham. Bullet point number two. Haley Atwell. You're getting me right in the feels, as always. But forget Peggy Carter, which is something I thought I would never say. My goodness, did she make so much with so little. She was a perfect supporting role in this, playing Javid's teacher, and you could just feel the absolute love pouring out of her. Terrific performance. I can't wait to see everything she does post-Avengers. Bullet point number three. This isn't spoiling anything, but the line of the movie was 100%. Follow the Jews. Do what the Jews do. They're smart. My friend and I, who are both Jews, were for sure the only ones who were cackling. This really isn't a bullet point. It's just kind of a thing I had to say. Bullet point number four. I love the cinematography throughout the movie, but specifically when we see Javid first hear Springsteen for the first time, we see a lot of Bruce's songs literally spelled out, and it just adds so much to the back and forth between Javid's struggle with being stuck in his home with his traditional father, but also trying to find and carve his own path. Bullet point number five. You know who else did wonderful work? Dean Charles Chapman, who played Javid's best friend from childhood, Matt. Keep your eye on him, y'all, because he has another movie coming out this year that's supposed to do some serious damage, 1917. And the other standout was Aaron Figura, who played Roops, who also gave Javid Bruce Springsteen in the first place. He was wonderful, and this was his film premiere. Bullet point number six. I'm not sure if many people experience this, but are there songs that will, like, just make you cry? Like, you hear the first chord or the first crash of the drums, and you just can't help but start crying? Well, I have about three of those, and two of them are Thunder Road and Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. And I don't want to spoil anything that goes on in the scenes, but they are just perfect. And I was anxiously waiting for them to happen, and when they finally did, I was for sure crying and for sure singing along. I didn't anticipate it, but Blinded by the Light is my second five-star film. It is also my second favorite film of the year behind Avengers Endgame. And that's saying a lot because I've seen 108 2019 releases. So if you're like me and you just love that feel good, fists up in the air kind of movie, get yourself to the theater and see Blinded by the Light.
My friends, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mjoseph492. And if you really love me, please consider being a patron on Patreon, where you can get patron-only content, guest interviews, giveaways, and lots more. You can even give me a film to review, and that video will be dedicated to you. Shalom, my friends.